think some of the craziest shit that ever happened while I was on tour, I got to say, like, I think I was in, in Wichita, Kansas. No, I was in I was in Lawrence, Kansas, man. But uh, I had ended up getting booked at a strip club, like one of the hottest strip clubs out there. Man, it just was crazy. I, uh, at the time, like, this when Freak Block Tales had just started popping off, going crazy. But, um... Shit, I, I performed or whatever. I had it, had a bitch going crazy and shit. But afterwards, like they closed the club down. We getting ready to leave and shit. They like, nah, y'all stay, y'all stay, y'all good. We gonna lock the door and shit. We just gonna chill and catch a vibe in here or whatever. Man, this motherfucker turned damn near to a brothel type shit. Like it was cra some crazy shit. Like come to find out, like everybody in in the club and shit. Like, they, like, family, they kick it together, like, every day or some shit. But it was so crazy because everybody just chilling, vibing and shit. And out of nowhere, like, everybody in that motherfucker just started fighting. Like, I don't know what the hell somebody said to somebody or, or what, but it was like some WWE shit. Like, motherfuckers putting each other through tables, motherfuckers putting glass mirrors, all that shit. Busting bottles over the head and shit. And I, uh, <laughs> I see the promoter nigga that booked me and shit. He come with a, uh, like a Moet bottle and shit. He like, man, I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's getting crazy in this motherfucker. And we just, like, the whole time me and my aunt's ride, we just sitting there, like, we just witnessing, like, all this shit. Like, we don't know what the hell to do. Like, we like, bro, this shit kind of looks staged, like. I feel like they staged this whole thing or whatever, but man, it was just crazy, bro. Like, shit, we ended up just walking out, like in the midst of them just fighting type shit and hit the road. We all got in our whips and shit and hit the road. Like, that shit was unbelievable. Like, yeah, that's some of the craziest shit that I ever seen on tour, for real. Like, I wanna tell y'all about one of the craziest parties we ever threw, man, called Sanaki Day. Sanaki basically mean the chosen one. That's some shit me and my niggas came up with type shit. Like it um just me and my gang and shit, me and my niggas and shit. We just be partying all day and shit. We throw little events and shit like private events. But specifically this one year, probably like a year or two ago, on Sanaki Day, we um we had like rented out the club, rented out one of our popular clubs here and shit, just like on some invite only type shit. And shit we ordered like 30 bottles. I ain't even bullshit. We ordered like 30 bottles. We ain't even had 30 people with us. And so we just was drinking like ridiculously. Like, damn near everybody blacked out in that bitch. But we um we had an Airbnb and shit that we still had to get back to after the club. So we get back to the... Before we get back to the Airbnb, I'm riding with my brother. He had just got a new charger and shit, Dodge Charger. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> we so fucked up, man. We had, the, like, a red light, man. This nigga car catch on fire, like, type shit. Like, and I'm out of it. Like, I'm blacked out type shit. Like, his engine is on fire, like, in flames. This nigga hop out the car thinking I'm behind him type shit. Run. I don't know where the hell he run to, but he ended up coming to get me. I just remember, like, little flashes of the shit. He like, nigga, the car on fire. Nigga, you about to blow up, <laughs> So she, he ended up pulling me out the car and dragging me to, like, the uh, side of the road type shit. And I'm, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, damn, boy, something getting hot. Like, I'm blacked out, so I'm like, man, it's hot as hell around this bitch. What's crazy, man, my brother only had that car for, like, two days, man. Like, it had to be, like, two days, man. So anybody that's watching this shit, man, make sure y'all take care of y'all car. Make sure y'all get y'all oil chains and tune-ups and shit, man. He just bought it and just started driving and then put oil in it, nothing or type tune up, nothing. He just was driving it fast, it was a fast car. So he just dogging it, like probably spinning it, you know what I'm saying? Burn burnouts and shit. And shit just probably got tired and just caught flames. I don't know. That shit was crazy though. Car on fire type shit. I don't know how. He took care of the car or whatever shit. I don't know. I ended up back at the Airbnb, though. And um, it get even crazier, for real. So a lot of the um, shorties from the club that we had at the club and shit, they ended up coming back to the B&B. 
I'm on the couch, like, blacked out. They put me in my own section of the B&B type shit, on the couch type shit. And, um, man, shit. One of the shorties from the uh, club type shit, like, she just see me in there, like, just blacked out, vulnerable type shit. She try, like, to, like, make a move on me type shit, like, while I'm blacked out type shit, like, but luckily, like, 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 people was just checking on me and shit, like, so when my partner, when my partners and shit, he see her, like, like, trying to zip my pants type shit, he like, bro, like, what the hell, like, he instantly snapped type shit, and I'm, I, I hear about this shit all the next day, I don't, I ain't aware of none of this, like, but yeah, they end up throwing her out and shit, it, it was just bad, like, but shit, I don't remember shit too much from the night or whatever, but, I feel like I daily had a good time, though. I woke up on the bench outside the Airbnb type shit. Like, I really slept outside type shit. But I, um, I didn't believe it when they told me and shit. Like, so everybody showing me the, um, like the snaps and shit the next day and shit. I'm like, damn, like, this is really some crazy ass shit. Like, and I, um, goddamn, um, <laughs> but that night was crazy. In the whole thing, like, motherfuckers end up going live and shit that night, and everybody was asking, like, where the hell walk at type shit. So that's how they end up finding me in the room with the shorty, though. What's poppin', man? It's Big Six, Big D-Walk, and you checking out 247HH.com.